If you have ever been to a major city, then you might have seen very tall buildings before. These buildings can be thousands of feet high and over 50 stories tall. That's right, we're talking about skyscrapers. In fact, the tallest skyscraper in the world as of June 2022 is the Burj Khalifa, which stands over 2,722 feet tall. That's just over half a mile tall. Have you ever taken a photo at one of these tall buildings or just stood around and admired the view? Have you wondered how exactly these tall structures are constructed? I know I have, and today you'll learn more about how skyscrapers are built. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe to STEMAGEER. Also, don't forget to share my channel and my videos with everyone and smash the like button. Now, let's talk about how skyscrapers are built. Before a skyscraper is built, there are several things that need to happen. First, engineers need to figure out where to build a skyscraper. How do they select a site? They have to assess it and think about things like weather in the region, like high winds or hurricanes, seismic or earthquake activity, what the soil is like, and even potential construction costs. Next, engineers work with a lot of people to develop a design for the building using all the information they collected in their site assessment. When designing a skyscraper, there are many factors to consider. Two really important ones are gravity and wind. According to NASA, gravity is an invisible force that pulls objects toward each other or to the ground. This is why you aren't floating around. Gravity is really important to consider in design because the higher a building is, the more materials it has, making it heavier. All of the weight is pulled downward by gravity, so the building must be able to support all of the weight. Wind is also a factor that can really impact a skyscraper. If engineers don't account for that, it can cause a building to move or sway too much, or even collapse. As you move higher into the atmosphere, the wind speed increases. Now that we've talked about key design factors, let's talk about skyscraper construction. An important element in skyscraper design is the foundation. A foundation is the lowest part of a building structure that supports it and also anchors it. The foundation of a skyscraper is very important because without it, the weight of the tower would cause a skyscraper to sink into the ground or even tip over. The foundation needs to be built on something solid. Usually engineers will lay the foundation on bedrock instead of soil. What is bedrock? According to Britannica, it is a deposit of solid rock that usually lies beneath several layers of soil. Engineers often choose bedrock if it's available because it is solid, which helps create a really sturdy foundation. How do engineers build on bedrock? They use special equipment and tools to dig the soil out until they reach bedrock, which is typically 100 to 200 feet below the earth's surface. Engineers then will insert columns of iron poles from the surface of the earth down to bedrock using special tools, forming a pile of poles that are used as a part of the foundation. Next, a mat foundation is placed over the piles, which is a slab of concrete that will extend across the footprint of the building. The foundation structure is designed to handle weight or essentially the force of gravity from the skyscraper that is being built. Once the foundation is set, the building can be constructed upwards. So how is the rest of the skyscraper constructed? Engineers typically use a steel skeleton that cons consists of horizontal and vertical supports. The steel skeleton will look like a large box with cross steel framing. Engineers use beams for each floor and frame where each window will go. Usually the exterior for the skyscrapers is also steel. Engineers use steel because it is a good material to distribute the massive weight of the building evenly. And that's how skyscrapers are built. Now that you know how skyscrapers are built, let's look at the top tallest skyscrapers as of 2022. Number 4. Lotto World Tower Located in Seoul, South Korea, these buildings stand over 1,823 feet with over 123 stories. It opened in 2017 and marked the first building in South Korea to be over 100 stories. Number 3. The Makkah Clock Royal Tower 
Located in Mecca, Saudi Arabia, this building stands 1,972 feet tall. This building is a part of a larger complex that contains hotels and prayer rooms for worship. Number 2. The Shanghai Tower Located in downtown Shanghai, China, this building stands over 2,000 feet tall. One of the technological feats of this building is that it, can, it has elevators that can transport people at over 40 miles per hour. And number one, the Burj Khalifa. This is the tallest building in the world as of June 2022. Located in the Dubai United Arab Emirates, this building stands at 2,722 feet tall and construction took over five years. Know that the tallest building in the world may change with new skyscrapers constantly being developed. Thanks for joining me in this STEM major adventure. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and give my video a like if you enjoy the content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.